Python on hardware, Python on microcontrollers, Circuit Python, all the things going on in the world of Python. And this week was electronics. quite a doozy. There's yeah. a lot going on. I have all a lot right. of breaking news. Breaking so news. The breaking news today was Circuit Python Four beta, beta four zero is here. Boom. And um, the blog post outlines a bunch of stuff. It'll be on the newsletter um, that comes out next week. Uh, but Lady Ada, what are some of the things? Uh, I have these as like a dude. A, the a list thing. is so long. But there, there's a lot. But there's what, a lot. What are some of the things? Well, the big thing is, as you saw as a poster, we now have uh, Nordic Bluetooth low energy BLEIO. support. BLEIO. So that's our Bluetooth Display support. IO. Display is another big one. We have um, the ability now to uh, display stuff on TFTs. Um, that's something that we were doing kind of by hand, but now we have a, a core um, capability to do that. We um, revamped the USB to use TD USB, which is very exciting. It means that we'll be able to support more boards in the future, or other people can add support. We added um, a boards. lot of new boards. York got completely redone. Yep. Uh, yeah, we removed Frave Buff because we added um, Bluetooth. Uh, of course, all the M4 boards um, got a big scrub in. The yeah. NR52 840 got added. We removed. ESP8266, and we removed uh, NRF52832 because we're not going to be supporting those anymore. Um, and then a lot of bug fixes and like little details here yeah. and there. Um, so check yeah, out the blog tons. post. Um, thank you, everyone. We, we, we thank everyone in there. And uh, keep an eye on the newsletter, the site, and, of course, our weekly segment here for more things going on with CircuitPython. For. This is the poster. We'll show the poster off uh, a little bit later in the show, but this is it. And uh, special thanks to Nordic, who let us uh, use our logo for this because we're using a Nordic chipset. Sweet. Okay. Other breaking news. This has happened today. Um, I saw that EduBlox is like, okay, the, their beta is arriving today, Wednesday. I'm like, okay, cool. And then it's here. And that's here. That's <laughs> and fast. So, yeah. And then I said, cool. And I tried it out. It works great. So if you like Python, and you also like block programming, or maybe you're introducing someone to Python, but they want to start with block pro programming first, where you drag, drag a block. And the Python code it makes is really good if you switch back and yeah. forth. Um, so anyways, did a quick demo, worked out great. And it's perfect the way it works yeah. because there's no compiling. You know, you just save it, and it runs immediately. So this is a very good, um, yep. a very good way to learn to program, okay. especially if you are interested in Python, but you don't quite want to get into typing yet, especially with the tabs and spaces. This is uh, all taken care of for you. And so, we've got some great CircuitPython libraries to make the code compact and easy to read. Adafruit.edublocks.org. Check it out. OK, then we got a preview of Hackspace Magazine. This was leaked. And we're like, hey, this is pretty cool. Look, there's what? a little NeoPixel. Oh, Colin. There's a NeoPixel, NeoPixel thing Pixels. at the bottom. And then but then I had eagle eyes. But it's like, wait, wait, what? what's this? Oh. Oh, take your first steps in this language for Maker. CircuitPython makes the cover nice. of Hackspace Magazine. OK, so that was all the stuff that came in today. Okay, that's just Here's it. other stuff. Here's other stuff. Um, all Wait. aboard, is what I like to say, or um, Circuit Python snakes its way to the next board. <laughs> yeah, we've added support for the Maker Diary and our 840. We're yeah. going to be adding more and more 840 boards of support. Send PRs. If you have a board that you've designed, uh, it's very easy to add um, board definition to so all your pins and you know the amount of RAM or flash, so the amount of uh, SPI flash you have and what pins are used. Um, send in a board variant, and we will do builds for you. Even it's, that's right. It's going to be amazing. So, um, yeah, do pull requests and uh, look at other people's pull requests if you're not exactly sure how to do it. Okay. If you need help, uh, go to Discord um, in the Circuit Python chat. We will help you. Okay. And then another board that supports Circuit Python. Circuit Python takes way to the SparkFun Lumi Drive LED driver. Yeah. Um, we actually have one. I bought one. I have one. It do arrived you want me to today. Share it off? Here it is. It's my favorite. SparkFun. By the way, we right have now. 800. Well, I'll get to that stars. in a second. Okay, okay. Um, put this aside for a moment. But uh, here it is. Um, okay. You plug it in, shows up as a USB drive, just like CircuitPython normally does. Write Python right there. Yeah. Check out the guide, the um, it's video. USB-C. They have. and uh, SAMD21, four megabytes flash, and then these little surface mount connectors. It's just yep. kinda, it's a little, uh, little bit bigger than the Feather, but it's got some extras. It's got like a button and stuff. It's got some breakouts is designed specifically for driving LED strips, like dot stars, but I think you could probably use this with um, NeoPixels yeah, as sure. well. OK. While this is all happening, um, we have a um, unreleased device that we've been working on. And uh, we do live updates. Uh, you can watch them, and you can watch this right here. If you go to github.com slash Adafruit slash Python, you can see how many stars we have. And if you start right now, the second, um, this maybe, I'll, I'll, I'll flip back to it. If I, if I need to later, um, you'll see it go up. So this is a uh, M4 
an ESP32. That's what it uses for Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's a Display I/O demo. Yep, Display I/O demo. Display demo. I/O looks at the um, uses a GitHub API. It's a bunch of JSON stuff that comes down, and then you can do things like this—a really cool IoT device that updates real time and more. Um, we did a roundup of all the feedback that we got for 2019. We're going to have another one in the newsletter, so check that out. Uh, we asked everybody, what do you want, CircuitPython? And you talk, we listen. So check out um, the overview um, and some of the posts that we already have, Pound CircuitPython 2019, and then we'll have a roundup. Uh, this project was really, really neat. This is from um, SciJoy, and they completely understood and got why we put CircuitPython on top of Raspberry Pi and Linux. And they're making a Twitter-controlled robot, and they're using um, Blinka, Blinka and our, our Featherwings Motor yeah. Kit. So it's actually coming together. They're like, "Oh yeah, you have Circuit Python, you have Python, and then Blinka lets you use both on Raspberry Pi." I'm like, "Yes, yeah. correct." And so then, it's awesome. This is some community projects. Uh, Arrow Farn, uh, I think that's how you say the name, extended their Trellis M4 board with a uh, with two Neo trellises. Yeah, and they so, added Seesaw, so yeah. it's, it's, you could have more buttons. So you can connect two of these together. You need more buttons. To make something really cool. More blinky. Look at that. So much blinky. Yeah. St. Mary's School 6th grade class is using CircuitPython Express for coding, so that means they get all the things like MakeCode, CircuitPython, and more. Um, Hackaday just added a new section to their site, and it's a CircuitPython curated list. It's all the CircuitPython projects on Hackaday. There's enough, and if you have projects, put them on Hackaday. Yep. I mean, there you can put them in a bunch of places, but Hackaday is a, is a great community place. You can share links, and then of course you can make your own little display that shows how many skulls you got. This Chris is a feather Oster Ward, uh, CEO of Capable Robotic Components, announced that the SenseTep, the open source four-channel temperature sensor for instrumenting electronics, is now available on CrowdSupply. This is yet another feather format board, but also works with CircuitPython. That's right. So, we have a driver for these. Uh, I think these are RTD amplifier chips. That's or, right. or the, we so we um, we have drivers for this in Arduino and CircuitPython, and so it's quite easy to um, have these all together and then and then read uh, precision RTD temperatures using CircuitPython, and then um, you can send them to the internet or you can store them on a disk drive, whatever you like. Geek Mom made a game of four in a row on an edge lit matrix That's coded nice. in CircuitPython and using a circuit. Playground Express. And that's cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, this is all sort of my Look at that. Look at that nice animation technique yeah. there. Okay. Then uh, this was a, <laughs> a stress management mass 1000. This was made with uh, Circuit Python, and you can see there that it was uh, coded in Moo. And yeah. Circuit Playground. Whoa, relaxing. Yeah. This guy's relaxing the he's heck out of it. relaxing because he's saving so much time just doing code in Python. That's right. Um, this is a um, circuit python controlled bell. Good. Bing. Yeah, it uses the Bing. infrared and then it can Bing. do yeah. stuff. And then soon we're going to have Bluetooth, so you can do stuff with Bluetooth too. Yep. Ooh, um, ITAP Arcade posted up some of their 2019 plans, and of course their plans include circuit python. So they went over all the things that they want to include this year and circuit python. Yeah, they, part they've of done it. Arduino stuff and they did stuff with so They're actually quite on the edge. They're always interested in like, the latest yep. and the greatest. Okay. Microbit, this is a community. Um, Microbit magazine, and uh, they put together amazing projects with Microbit. There's a lot of Adafruit stuff in there, including Cricket, and Cricket got a nine out of ten, high praise. Actually, you know, it's funny because they mentioned that they wanted MicroPython support for Cricket, and I think maybe I'll, I'll take a stab at it. It's not going to be as yeah. amazing because there's not enough RAM, but I think we can get servos and motors going. Okay. Um, Green Man Rossum uh, said, "I love GPI Zero." And this was kind of neat. Um, the reason why uh, I, I called this out is because uh, we really like GPIO02. Um, that's the API that we designed CircuitPython. Um, uh, it was an inspiration for yeah. it. Yeah. So um, there's so many similarities in the abstraction. And yeah. More. In fact, so, the people who wrote GPIO0 yeah. actually were wondering, like, why is CircuitPython, like, the API so similar? Yay. Is it is it like, did you, were you inspired? Did we yeah. just call it independently? And I'm like, no, we were we were inspired by you guys. And also, um, this week, if you sign up on Adafruit Daily for the uh, Python and Microcontroller newsletter, I have some ancient Python history. If you want to see the very first computer system, it's called Amoeba, that Python ran on. I, found, I dug that up. That's cool. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Um, also, um, here's uh, a guide on using huh. MicroPython on the size feed matrix. That's a uh, RISC-V oh, 64 board. Oh, yeah. 
here's uh, MicroPython on the um, Wii controller. If you want to learn how yeah. to do that, yep, okay. using ESP8266 EVB, I believe. Yeah. Hackster just started a Python on hardware section. Oh, nice. You see all this coming together? It's coming happening. Coming together. Coming it together. is happening. It's happening. Um, we posted up a guide about um, using Python to control Pi Camera. That's a, a project at Project a common Raspberry request. Um, dot org. And then we also um, we like to keep up with what's going on in Jupiter. Um, you can check out um, the latest uh, Jupiter Lab. Um, we have links to that. A lot of people are using the kernel with MicroPython, CircuitPython for stuff in Jupiter. Mm -hmm. um, also, big news in the world of Moo. Um, you probably heard about this. Uh, 1.02 is here. Boom. So uh, there's bug fixes. There's also stuff from Adafruit, including um, support for particle, argon, boron, xenon boards, and more Adafruit IDs. Um, we'll talk about this in the not out yet, but this is another CircuitPython board that we'll be releasing soon. Yay. Completely open source Arduino shaped Metro M4 Express Wi Fi. If you like the Arduino shape, but you like CircuitPython, this is for you. We had some updates on our skulls and the uh, project. Let's see if uh, uh, we got any more. We did get a couple. Did we're we? Up did, to, we? Did, um, we? Did, we? did we? Did we? Yeah. Once you go to the overhead and you can check it out, we're up to Yay! 838. GitHub.com slash Adafruit slash CircuitPython. We'll keep checking in if you keep starring it. You, you star us. We'll. Uh, that project project. So that was an update. Yeah, you added that and then people skulled yeah, it. Yeah. We posted a ton of resources. GitLab just uh, posted up how to get stuff done on GitHub. Posted up about that. Um, we have an update guide. Um, Dano. Uh, we had another event in the upcoming Python on Hardware World. So February 23rd to 24th, Pi Cascades. Uh, Scott's going to be there, but also Nina. And Nina's doing a specific talk, Light Up Your Life with Python and LEDs. Python opens up a whole new world of working with wearable electronics. MicroPython and CircuitPython are Python variants that run with just 256K of storage space and 16K of RAM. Learn how to program LEDs with Python to light up your life with code and creativity. Of course, PyCon is coming up. That's in May. We're still looking for folks to help translate all the messages in CircuitPython. Check out our GitHub repo and more. We have a giant community. We just added getting help with CircuitPython. We also have the regular CircuitPython channel. Um, we hit over 10,000 people. I think we're going to be up to 11,000 really soon. Damn, people are they're there and they're chatting and they're yep. helping each other and they're showing off stuff. It's it's amazing. I mean, I, we pop in once in a while when we can. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not doing hardware. Yep, we post leaks. We post. All I this post stuff. stuff. Yeah. And it's it's just awesome to see people and helping in, each in other. In the Circuit chatting. Python world, you you get a front row seat to what we think is going to be one of the biggest, best open ways to program electronics. So you get to watch it real time develop, developing. It'd be like, what if there was like a Discord channel as they were developing like Mac OS? You that know, would be so cool. Or Apple all these years, or Secret. anything. Yeah. Or anything. Um, and it's all in the open. We can you can see yep. pretty much everything that's going on. Now's a good time requests. to jump in and participate. So, anyways, that's all um, in our newsletter. This is the video recap. AdafruitDaily.com, Python for microcontrollers. This is a magazine. Yep, there's a lot of stuff each week. Jam-packed. Okay.